Okay, so this is an update on the Blaze Shark Nano on Kickstarter. You know, it wasn't like a few days ago. It feels like a few days ago. I created a video, a record, you can say, about the Blaze Shark Nano. And even though that I also told about, well, what other devices there are on the market, I felt, well, it's probably going to get some backup, I guess, from the community. Looking at the amount of pledge already, and you saw it just opt with one. While we're talking about 201 backers up to 13,943 dollars. Canadian dollars it would be because the guys are from Canada. So if we scroll down to wherever it is, progress, stretch goals, different roadmap, project budget, there we go, not there. Where was it again? Just scroll, it's easy, I guess. Uh, the promises they give when I definitely thought I could find it, but I can, it's just in the top. I'm so stupid. All right, so they actually... What I see here, they reach the goal, which kind of means that the community really wants, you know, a device that is more than just, you know, the M5 stack, you know. Even though that the M5 stack can do more or less the same thing for some of the features, it still require, you know, you do the manual installation, you need to, you know, feel the M5 stack, the mini, the... The, the whatever they call all of them, you know, and they're, they're different. They are, it actually is more expensive than this device here. So in all cases, this is an upgrade, as I also talked about before. Contains more features, not inter nice interface, you know. I really hope they're going to work on the interface. Meet BLE Shark Nano, the wireless testing tool you can Yeah, as we also talked about before. And I want to show you one more time, you know, it is a small compact unit and the smallness and the compactness of it is what the community wants. We have a proof right here. We have a proof that right now we're talking, I can update, even though this is a live update, we got 201 backers and everyone is ordering one right now. So what I understand right now is the main goal is reached. The infrared is now also a part of it and we also got new colors. And the silicone case is also there, which is the one I guess we're going to see right here, a more polished case. So, yeah. So what are we really talking about? You know, how can you use a device like this for information security and working in a pen testing environment? Well, what I would use these kind of devices for, and I'm going to be completely honest, it's going to be the same as I used, for example, a Flipper Zero 4, is um, basically to showcase issues to raise awareness around me and the issues of lacking of cybersecurity in a company. I would probably not use it on red team assignments because that kind of assignments, you got a PC and a real antenna uh, with a lot more power. So two different scenarios, but for something handheld that is fun. And I know some of you probably can use it for pranking, you know, even though that pranking can be illegal, I'm not going to enforce it in my videos, but I know some of you guys are doing that, which is, I, I, I can laugh about it. Definitely I can, but also I want to say, you know, don't, don't use these devices for anything illegal because it is not okay to do it and you could actually end up in jail depending on where you are in the world. What I really like to see about these kind of devices on Kickstarter, and it's like, you know, we, we see devices like the Flipper Zero being shipped out and having success. Community is really taking the device, you know, in their pockets and say, I like this device. I also love the gadgets. No, I really do. Uh, I have many of the, the devices that can do somewhat some of the features that the Blade Shark can do. But I really hope, and this is me saying it, I really hope that we're going to see the Blade Shark uh, be more than just an upgrade to the M5 stack. So I haven't tried it yet. No, I have not the unit in my hands. Uh, I, I'm aware that there was a, a Tinty project going, as I'll talk about in another video, where I could probably have ordered one as a beta model or prototype. So I really hope to see that they upgraded something to the unit. We're going to see more of that in the future. And the timeline is, let's see the roadmap. Yeah, we have right here. Is that if you are a backer to this project, and I just 
definitely cannot zoom on my videos. I'm really bad at zooming and then everything goes wrong. I don't know why. So we are right here in November and really soon we are, they begin to order parts and it says something with, blah, blah, blah. I, I, it, it, it's too small. I cannot see it, definitely. It says finish production right there because I can see and begin shipping, design something with finalizing designs like that. So what I see here is that in March next year, so that, that's going to be uh, in the, the third month, you know, they, we will see what the play shark will be. We will see uh, how many people receive it. And I really hope that's going to be the case. Not talking about the other project we also talked about before is the M1 Compact Multi Tool. That is also another one of these projects we're going to see take off on Kickstarter. So I hope to see more projects like this on Kickstarter, you know, with more features and so on. I really hope to see, you know, more compact features, you know, bigger screens, even with graphics. But I understand graphics require more power, more battery power. So Eh, that's probably not gonna gonna go well that way. So, um, Blaze Shark, the guys behind it, I really hope to see a new unit that's gonna do more, can do more with some extra tools to help the information security community to be better at their job and the company to just showcase for the employees, for the directors and so on these devices can actually make people open their eyes. I'm not gonna lie, you know, I, I've done it myself at my current job. I brought some units, you know, and, and, and I showed them to them and said, listen, this device potentially could do this and that, but would require an extra step before it really becomes dangerous. And that actually opened that, their eyes a lot because I could say, this is free to buy for anyone, really cheap. And I could say the same thing about the Blade Shark. So I really look forward to seeing it on the market. And if you like the video, please comment, you know, give it a like. Uh, tell me in the comments what you think about it, the Blade Shark. Uh, also, if you want to follow my channel, please consider subscribing. And you will get notifications if you also hit the bell whenever I upload a video. And don't remember, and don't remember, as I don't forget it is, that this is, this temper is really soon. So we're going to do the advent of cyber on try. <laughs> oh, I'm beginning to laugh already.